Okay, how do you even start a video like this? At the start of this year, I was moving to a year group that I had previously found extremely challenging when I taught in the UK. The idea of teaching in year six was extremely daunting and extremely scary to me based on the experience that I had in the past, but I did know that we didn't have the SATs pressure like we have in the UK. Uh, and as a result, I was kind of at ease with it. Turns out I've had the most incredible year teaching year six, and that's come as a huge surprise to me. And it's been an absolute privilege. I've taught the year group that I'm teaching now, the year sixes, I originally taught them when I moved here to Dubai when I taught year two. And I've been able to teach them in year two, year three, and now finally year six as they move on and I uh, move on too. But for me initially, I thought this year would be the perfect year to leave. And as a result, I literally handed in my resignation. I was in a position where I was extremely happy with how this year had gone, but I was also in a strange position in a range of different ways like we'll talk about in a second. So I knew that as my year sixes were leaving and I've kind of seen them all the way through, it made sense for me to leave. And yeah, I went through that process. I had many meetings uh, about different decisions and things like that. And it, it's one of those things where I just decided that it was the right time for me. Or so I thought, because I believed that it was the right choice at the time. I watch a lot of content on social media as I create a lot of content on social media. And part of that is something that is called quit talk. At the moment, jobs are quite flexible. You can have work from home jobs, bits and pieces like that. And part of that was like, yeah, that sounds like a, a little bit of me. And I'm extremely privileged with this channel that I'm building up something truly special. And you guys have been able to support me with this journey. And it's been a real privilege to watch this grow. And one of the things I've always found challenging is finding the time to create content. So in my head, it made full sense to leave teaching and to continue with this full time. But, Here's the thing that I didn't really take into consideration. Part-time here in the UAE is extremely challenging. There's lots of different rules and laws and bits and pieces like that that I had to take into consideration. And as the reality started to set in, the pressure of teaching moved. And all of a sudden, the pressure of teaching moved not from teaching, it actually moved to YouTube. Now you'll notice on this channel, I've actually been really inconsistent over the last month and a half, and that's perhaps not the actions of an individual who is due to leave teaching. And that is because the pressure that I've just mentioned went to YouTube and crippled me, to be completely honest with you. And all of a sudden I found myself falling back in love with teaching. Part of that is to do with obviously coming towards the end of the year, but even though it was some of the highest pressure times of the year, I was actually enjoying it more than ever. And that made me really start to reflect and realize that I've come into teaching for a reason. I'm really lucky to be at a great school that supports me as an individual and also supports what I do with YouTube. Uh, and to be honest, it's something that I found that I enjoy. All of a sudden, YouTube felt like it's this real chore, this real pressure, something that I suddenly didn't enjoy. I had all this worry about this content needing to be absolutely perfect because as a professional, as a full-time individual, I need to make sure that the, the content is up to scratch, otherwise things could. And I think there was an element of risk that perhaps I'm not risk averse to. In the UAE though, I also forget that we're extremely privileged. We do have a four and a half day working week. And although those days, those four days in particular are extremely long, I'm guilty of coming home, crashing, not really feeling motivated, not doing the things that I should be doing. And I don't feel like it's a lack of time so much as I've come to realize it's a lack of discipline. So the next year or so, things are going to change on this channel. And I'm excited to say that. I'm gonna to need to be able to be a bit more organized with the content that I produce. I'm gonna be looking at expanding things, which is scary, but because I'm in teaching and I'm in that security role, I'll be able to use some of the resources from teaching, from those bits and pieces to expand on this and to be able to be, feel comfortable in pushing out, if that makes sense. 
I'm not in a financially strong enough position to just be on YouTube income and all those bits and pieces, but I am in a position where I can push into content and that's really exciting and it's a great position to be in. The content that I create on this channel is teaching related. So to come out of teaching, I was a bit unsure of the content that I would start to create. And again, that comes back to that panic that I had. So I'm really excited to be able to come back to school next year and create teaching content in a way that's going to be slightly different, a bit more set up, a bit more organized. And I'm really excited for you to see what comes next because there's lots of different plans and bits and pieces on the horizons as technologies grow. And I've got so many different ideas. And now that I finally got that security, school's been great at being able to kind of retract that resignation now that i have that security all of a sudden things become a lot more exciting in terms of things that i can produce in school to sort of support you with new and upcoming technologies that i know is going to be brilliant i was a bit daunted about making this video i'm not gonna lie i'm not even sure whether i'm gonna release this maybe i won't who knows if you're watching this i decided to press publish but thank you again for supporting the work that I do, for supporting the teaching content and all those other elements that I create too. What do you want to see more of next year as I go into the next academic year? I look forward to creating that and creating a brilliant community as we're starting to already. Again, thank you for supporting the content. Feel free to subscribe if this is your first time watching my content. It's not normally like this. It's not normally waffly. This is very rare. I want to say thank you. Like the video? No, that's a bit of a weird way to finish this video. Appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, I'm out.